Hello everybody, Emmy Wolf here with a brand new video. Anyways, today I'm going to talk about something I never talked about in my life before. Anyway, if my voice sounds weird, it's because I have gotten sick. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. How about that? Yes, I am sick and I will be talking really weird. But anyway, today's video is going to be about Amberlyn Reed, okay? And one of her exes called Casey, alright? So in the past, I never really made videos about Amber. Maybe in my other channel, if you know which ones they are. I have other channels and I've mentioned them before. You can see them down below here in the description somewhere it doesn't matter anyway point is that i never really talked about this woman but i've been watching her and her um the videos of people making reactions on her since early 2018 up until now so that's almost i don't know five seven years something like that i don't have time to count but yes i've been watching her for a long time and I'm going to be honest, at first I was rooting for her, right? Because I was overweight at 2018, in 2018, very overweight actually. And um, Amber, she kind of, you know, I was rooting for her to get healthy and I would get healthy. You know, it was one of those inspiration, motivation type of thing, doesn't matter. But I'm not here to talk about that. Moving on to fast forward to now. And we all know that her, right, Amber and... Um, well, she is kind of a narcissist, maybe, maybe not, but she is kind of not a good person. Everybody knows it. So not only is she overweight, extremely overweight and unhealthy, right? But she's kind of a bad, evil, demonic type of person, okay? That being said, um, now she's single at 30, whatever her age is, 32, 33. And she's had multiple girlfriends, multiple, 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 right? Um, so, in 2021, 20, I think she got a new girlfriend or something, and now it's over. So, it didn't really last. I think it lasted like two years or one year, I don't know, something like that. The one called Wifey or something. <laughs> but, basically, now she's all alone, and um, everybody, like a lot of her exes came out talking about her, especially this year, thank God. Thank God I returned to the Amberverse this year, because I would have never been here for the whole Wifey breakup situation. I would have I would have never known, because I quit. I quit the Amberverse early 2022 and late uh 2023 this year i returned just in time for the amber and wifey breakup but that's besides the point now one of her exes actually came out talking about her i think it was like her first girlfriend or something like that i don't know but her first relationship partner exposed her and it's all over like the internet now the one called casey and she had a whole drama with her basically amber said that um Casey basically uh, threw hands and feet on Amber. <laughs> and I'm laughing because it's crazy. It's insane, obviously. Which, dang, it's crazy. It's it's horrid. It's horrible. That's I'm laughing off of nervousness, right? Like, what in the world type of laugh. And um, then the, it, the truth was that actually Amber was the one that threw hands, right? <laughs> oh my god, man. But that's besides the point. Anyway, if I'm talking weird, it's because I'm sick. So that's what happened, Dan. You know what? It's been years, and since uh, Casey defended herself, right? She's like, no, it was not me who threw hands. It was actually Amber who threw hands. Hello, look at her. But anyway, that's that's what happened, and um, it happened in this channel called Mr. Snowflake or something like that. I really want to urge y'all to watch it. It's sad. It's horrible. And... You know what? It's not It's not all that surprising because a lot of her exes had already came out. Destiny, uh, I think Becky came out this year too. Both Destiny and Becky, they both came out this year uh, speaking on her um, about some of her bad behavior. So now that Casey has come out, you know, it, it isn't all that surprising. The only thing that really, like, scared everyone <laughs> was that basically Amber was over the age okay and Casey she was like 15 or 17 still in high school somewhere and Amber being the the over the age adult she was asking her minor right her minor um girlfriend who was a minor to send her um certain images and photographs of herself which if you own two brain cells you know what, what I mean by that so that was shocking that was unexpected and now we all know that Am Amber is kind of I don't know, a pred, if you understand what I mean by that. A pred, a little bit of a pred. Yeah, so if you guys want to check out the whole drama between... Uh, uh, well, it isn't a drama yet, but, it, you know, this is what happened um, this month, December of 2023. But the video will be down below. It was shocking. It was sad. It was horrifying. And I just want to let you guys know that you don't 
you shouldn't be scared. I just want to say this because I don't want to make this video too long. But this is a message to anyone. Especially younger people, right? But it could apply to anyone. But younger people, they tend to be a little bit more... Um, how do I say this? Not assertive. Okay? Unassertive. Um, easily influenced. Right? Peer pressured. Younger people, right? And this was even me at the age of 22. Uh, a little bit. A little bit, of course. Yes. Yes, I was. So, to those who are younger... Please do not be afraid to let some people go, okay? This is my message to anyone. Do not be afraid to walk away. Do not be afraid to lose some people. You will always lose people in life, okay? You will learn this as you grow older and you will not care. I know it feels like, oh my God, I will lose this person and it hurts and this person meant this and that and the third. Mm, no, they don't. I mean, even if they do, it's not worth it. It's not worth staying in a bad situation that is stressing you out and giving you, I don't know, certain mental health issues. Probably, maybe, maybe not. But just walk away. Anyone can walk away. Nobody is holding you with, uh, what is it? No one is handcuffing you or arresting you and putting you in a certain situation. Nope, you are free to walk away. You are free to leave and never talk again you are free to block and all of this okay use these tactics to your advantage okay do not be afraid there are many fish in the sea there are family members that will literally be by your side no matter what for years for all your life okay forever and ever until the end of days okay family or friends that will literally be by your side and listen to you and they will never leave you or um betray you and yeah just stop thinking that you need certain people in your life that are stressing you out, that are unhealthy for you, that are literally just making life hell for you, okay? Do not stick around there. You don't have to do that, especially if you're an adult, right? I know it can be harder if you're under the age, if it's like a family member. But if they're not a family member, just just block, leave, walk away. It's you know, it's better to be alone than with bad company. This is something my mother always used to, used to tell me. You know, solitude, yeah, it can be sad here and there. But if that's what you have to do right now, if right now what you have to do is be alone, do it. Be alone. It can be sometimes sad, but it can also be peaceful. It can be peaceful. It can be healing, everything, all of that. So please, please take care of yourself. Please do something healthy. And yeah, that's, that's the message for today. I saw this whole entire interview. You can watch it. It's going to be down below. So yeah, take care of yourself. And my homework for anyone watching this video would be for you to please walk a mile or run a mile. Whatever you find comfortable enough for you. But something that will keep you uh, healthy. That will keep you busy. That will keep you active. That will pump up your adrenaline. Yeah, something that will literally just... Just give, give you, uh, what is that thing? Uh, the, the hormone, the active, you know, something healthy. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, man, I am sick. I don't feel good. But anyway, guys, this is a little doodle that I created today, December 25th or 26th or one of those. <laughs> Overnight, right? Over the night I was celebrating and I created this doodle. Um, if Just like that, just out of my imagination. This is one of the things I'm good at. So <clears throat> if you want me to make one for you, then I will do my best. This is like a request thing that you can do. And I'm charging 10 bucks and I will draw something for you. So if you like this, uh, leave it in the likes down below or in the comments. If you didn't like the video, leave it in the dislikes or in the comments. I'm out. Have a wonderful holiday season.